Welcome back to Gallatin Parkway. You join me in front of the layout today for a video that's uh, going to discuss some major changes on the layout. As you may have guessed from the title of the video, these actually might be quite dramatic. Now, um, filming in the loft, it's Sunday evening, it's about half past eight, it's absolutely boiling. I've got the skylights open to try and keep things cool. So, as you know from some of my previous videos, we do get a few dregs of society that like to whiz up and down our road like it's a Nürburgring when in fact it's actually not but uh i apologize in advance if you hear those in the background so what i'm going to do in this video is just take you through some changes that i'm proposing major changes with the layout and uh we'll see what you think i'd love some feedback and ideas when you hear what i'm planning on doing let me know what you think and uh we'll get cracking with this video I'm look back down over the work that i've done so far with the layout um now, as I'm sure many people have experienced with model railways, there comes a stage when what you've got you no longer want anymore, um, and it's no longer serving the purposes of what you'd hoped for from a model railway. And the problem that I've had with this layout is this layout was designed um, primarily, it was about five years ago, for me to be able to run trains. So I've got just a two track main line running around the well in the centre of the loft. Um, and then you'll remember, or you may remember from the layout update videos, we've got the spur that goes off in the far corner where you can see the hill through the tunnel under this scenic area and out onto a fiddle yard and return loop back at the other end of the loft, which is over there and over to where my workbench is. Now... <laughs> My layout, I've decided that realistically I want to get some more prototypical operation from it. I'm not happy with the fact that I've um, I've got the layout set up the way it is. My main problem with it is, to be perfectly honest, the fact that on the inner line, when you run a train on the inner line, it's stuck on the inner line and it just runs round and round in circles. The outer line is not so much of a problem. Um, I can run layout uh, tracks off of that line and out onto the fiddle yard and switch locomotives, switch trains, etc. But it does limit what I'm able to do. And it's, it's it's causing me issues, it's causing me frustrations. Now, I've been toying for some time with the idea of ripping the layout up and starting again. Now, as you'll appreciate looking at the layout in front of you, a hell of a lot of work has gone into it, and it's probably not a justifiable thing to do. Um, first and foremost, financially, I can't justify it. Secondly, from a time perspective, I can't justify it, especially you not know, with a new baby on the way. And third of all, I just, you know, I can't, I can't justify it ripping up all of my efforts. Um, so from a sentimental point of view, I, I don't think I could do with completely killing this layout. It would make me quite sad, and I don't want to make myself sad because that would be upsetting for everyone. Okay, so what I do now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you my plans for the layout and some major changes that I'm anticipating on making. I thought it was useful to get this video out there because you guys may be able to give me some good ideas and things um, on on what, what to do and how to progress with the layout. I just mentioned my main beef with this layout is the fact that the inner line, once you're on the inner line, you are literally stuck on the inner line. It's a circuit and it just runs around, um, around this 13 foot by 8 foot space. It's not very realistic. As I've got more into model railways and started to take things more seriously, I want to be able to run in a more prototypical fashion. So that inner line, locos just running around there is not satisfying me. So I was looking at different ways that I could resolve this situation. And basically the way I'm going to do this is to get rid of this end section. So you'll have to bear with me in the dodgy camera work now because I'm going to use a piece of wood to demonstrate what I'm going to be doing. So... This is my trusty piece of wood and um, demonstrating implement. So, from here onwards, the track plan is good. We're happy with that, there's no issues with it. But after here, it bends around into this curve and it's no good. I'm gonna resolve this situation. What I'm gonna do, this fiddle yard over the back, this is gonna go. Is going to be taken up up until the fourth network rail coach that you can see there um, and I'm going to be putting in two foot by four foot um, two sorry sorry two sections of two foot by four foot so you're effectively going to have an eight foot eight foot by two foot uh, section along that wall and that is going to be all scenic okay so up until the end of that green uh, net 
or sorry, rail track coach at the far end there. That is pretty much where the scenic boards will end. So if you look at the width here that I've got, this is going to be extended up until the end of that network rail coach. This end section here is going to go. It's getting ripped out. It's no good. It's a pain in the ass. I have to crawl under it all the time. And it's just not practical for what I want anymore. Um, as I mentioned, I want full two-track mainline running all around as far as I can have it. So, if we look at the layout here, you can see I've got a two-track mainline. And if I cut it off at this point, I can preserve it. So, the mainline is going to be cut here. And two tracks are going to continue to run down into this section here. Obviously, these curved tracks here, they're all going to have to go. They're no good for me anymore. But what I will be doing is I'll be leaving the TMD in. So it's quite hard to explain without you being able to actually be in my head and see what I want to do. The TMD is going to stay there. The curved tracks that run around the back of it, they're going to go. Obviously, the tracks will then be able to continue on straight. And that's going to give me the opportunity to expand the TMD area. This tunnel portal and this hill there, you can consider that gone. That's going to be ripped up. Um, and then the balls will end there and this area will be gone. So just to recap and try and summarise my thoughts in a logical way for you to understand. Two track main line running down here. Up until that point there is where it remains normal. And it will continue to run down onto a further 8 foot by 4 foot of scenic boards where that field yard will be gone. Now at the end of that uh, that rail track coach there, the fourth one, I'm going to zoom in. Sorry, this is really bad zooming, I know, because it's on my phone and it's pretty pants. Um, but where that coach is, that's where the scenic area will end. There'll be a scenic break there and it will run out into just um, two tracks. And effectively the two track main line will join up with, you see where the curve, where the class 47 is. Um, the two tracks are going to join up there with that with where those two curves come round. What I'll do, the tracks, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do scenically on the fiddle yard, I'll just zoom back out, where the fiddle yard area is, but in short, what I'm trying to do is preserve the desk that I've built. That needs to stay, I cannot lose that because it took ages to build. Uh, it's in place, I like it, it's in a good spot, and I need somewhere to work, that's gotta stay. So yeah, we're gonna have, as I mentioned, once again, Eight foot by two foot of new scenic section starting from the end of the board here running until the end of where that rail track coach is now obviously i'm gonna to have to remodel from here scenically all the way down to there but that's good i'm happy with that i'm happy to have a new challenge um Gowerton parkway's finished talbot lane is finished i need something new to do and that is going to be my next project what this will look like this main line here i don't know um, the one thing I can tell you is I have no intention of keeping this dead straight and running it down the edge of the board so effectively where the HST and the Class 56 are. It's going to curve across the board, cut through some scenery. Um, the, 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 the TMD and freight yard, I anticipate on keeping that. So this set of points here, from here onwards, these are slightly curved points. I'll get rid of those and I'll turn those into straight straighter points. And again, with this side in here, turn that into straighter points. And the entry to the yard will be somewhere down there. So we'll have a longer approach and trains will be able to cross into the yard from both the inside track and the outside track. And there's potential there with these side ends. If obviously I if I cut the lines sort of here, I can extend those. But that's, that's all sort of up in the air at the moment. But yeah, you get the idea. That's going to happen. That's going to run down to there. This part where the desk is remains the same. And on the return loop, this is where we change things again. And I'll walk over there to show you that. So here we are back over by the return loop. Um, what you'll see is we've got a join in the board there and a join in the board there. This is going to remain in place. This particular board here is going to remain in place. This will go. This will go. And this will go. A new board, which is going to be uh, 12 foot by 1.5 foot wide, will run. From the edge of that board all the way down to the edge of this board here on the layout and that's going to be a fiddle yard um there's going to be nine sidings on there i've worked out a track plan for it and that'll be enough for me to keep nine different rakes on and the two main lines will run through that 
it will give me the added advantage then of having a fiddle yard that I can use for the inner loop, which I haven't got at the moment. Currently, if I want to bring anything onto the fiddle yard from the inner loop, I have to run across the other tracks, and it's just quite inconvenient. So I walk down here, and I'll talk you through the problems I'm going to have here, um, and you know, try and come up with some ideas of how I'm going to get around this. Now, the nuclear flask depot is basically the main problem here. It curves away like this and out onto this curved section of track and I do not want that to be there anymore this part is going to be gone what I'm going to do with that yet I'm not quite sure the flask depot may go um, or be completely reconfigured ideally I'd like to completely reconfigure it I don't necessarily want to actually rip it up so um, one idea that I had was where it curves round here where the two flasks are I could probably just run a spur off of that line out onto uh, the main line not quite sure how it work it all depends on how it looks and you know I need to get something that feels that's got a good feel and a good flow to it and I'm not going to try and if if it means trying to crowbar this in and it ends up looking stupid it won't happen I'm just going to rip it up um, and that'll be that as far as the main lines go up until uh, just about the end of the retaining wall um, where so where my finger is there pretty much cuts off that there the line will be lifted from there and those two lines will then run through through here through the end and down onto the fiddle yard bit and as I'm explaining this I'm thinking god I am creating a lot of work for myself here but it shouldn't be too bad it shouldn't be too bad honestly I've figured it out um, I've worked out a rough track plan etc and um, priced it up and I think for the wood and the track that I'm going to need, because obviously all of the track that's in the fiddle yard at the moment is recyclable, I think the whole project should probably cost me less than £400 with any luck. So, but that's before I start looking at doing the scenic part, but scenery, that can that, can, that will come as a secondary area. So in essence, what we're going to have, station area and everything, that's going to be preserved. The lines will run down here, two track main line running off down here. I don't want too much clutter in front of these main lines, I want to keep it fairly clean and scenic there. So that area there, that gives you effectively a 13 foot by 2 foot scenic run out of the station. So we'll have the station side of the layout. Um, and then on this side, we've got the 13 foot by 2 foot section which will then be extended by another eight foot by two foot down to there scenically and then where the end of that coach is there'll be a scenic break the scenic break will be there and at that point purely to be able to allow me to preserve my desk space and um and just you know keep keep that side of things quite neat so the first step that i will need to take realistically that i can see here is to get this fiddle yard up um the fiddle yard will be taken up and all the boards will be taken up um, up onto this board here. This board here will stay. And this will be where the scenic break runs. And then that way I'm not affecting any of this area here. And my programming track can stay where it is. The two tracks that curve around there, they're going to be about at the right angle for me to run into my field yard. I'll just extend those lines off here, continue those curves. And then at whatever point I need to on the new board, curve it on. That's what I would do front of the computer now you'll have to forgive my lack of high-tech way of displaying this information but this is what the fiddle yard plan is going to look like it'll basically start with two three-way points at either end and diverge out into nine sidings there and um, you'll have the two sort of main lines running through the middle of it it gives plenty of opportunity for shunting running things around and then there's going to be one line around the mid down the middle that will be quite easy to well that can be shared by the inner line or the outer line but what i will be doing is integrating some proper crossovers into the layout to allow tracks um to be switched and for trains to move between one part of the layout and the other so so yeah that's uh that's the plan and probably the first crossover will be where the current motorway bridge is i'll have a crossover there to allow things to cross out on the uh on the scenic area and then there'll be a crossover in front of the yard entry um, which will be developed on the new scenic section so i hope that video hasn't been too confusing or too annoying for anyone to try and follow 
as I said, looking at this, it seems like a hell of a lot of work. But the way I see it, I should be all right. I think I can get the baseboards put together in one weekend and then I'll be able to start laying track. The main pain in the ass bit is gonna be killing this middle section and getting rid of that and getting rid of this hill here and smoothing that board so it can all be used as a as a new scenic, because um, I'm gonna need new scenic features running over there, but I'm sure it will work out fine. It's gonna be a bit distressing ripping up that part of the layout, but the sooner I can get the fiddle yard in, I can start looking then at this side and trying to figure out how on earth I'm gonna um, scenically map it and make the layout look. But I think all in all, this is gonna work out well for me. It'll give me what I want. It'll give me two track main line running all the way around, um, all the way around the roof of the, the attic theoretically and it will give me a, a nice scenic break where I can run trains on and off the scene so it's slightly more prototypical I know some people are probably thinking oh why the hell are you doing that what's the point um but personal preference is something that's annoying me something that's annoyed me for ages and doing this is going to stop me ripping up the entire layout theoretically by doing this I'm going to rip out one small section here reconfigure a little bit there reconfigure a little bit there and hopefully it'll all work out so i'll leave this video there let me know your thoughts and thanks for sticking with it to the end cheers guys bye, -bye.